Lady in that white car behind you, and we could hear her screaming, screaming her head off during your live shot. And eventually, yeah. you said, I, "I've called 911, but the water was rising, and you had to do something." So pick it's, up the story. It, it, Steve, it was. It, I know that we're swamped here with all the 911 calls because there's so many high water rescues that we've already documented so far. And call 911 in five minutes, ten minutes, and you could hear her screaming. Right? You could hear it during my live shot, real loud. And that's her car right there. Windshield wipers are still on. So I just said, you know what? I, I realize I'm with you guys. I'm on the air, but I, I can't. I, I can't let it go. So I just. <laughs> I, I, I dropped everything and I took my wallet out of my pants and I uh, went like in Bob, there, waded in, got chest deep. Yeah. That's the type of guy Bob Van Dillen is. I've known Bob for probably 15 uh, years. So don't be humble, yeah. my friend. This I was not uh, surprised at all when you took off your gear and on live television said, I've got to go do something. I, I, it, Janice, you know how it is, and it, I was I was concerned at one that maybe there was a nice swift current, but the current really wasn't that bad. Uh, but the water temperature I was afraid with too. The water temperature is probably about 80, so all those things were right. working pretty nicely. Now that being said, the water came up to about my chest, and she was in there, and she was still strapped into her car, and the water was actually rising and getting up into the car itself. So she was about you know almost neck deep submerged in right. her own car. If you car. hadn't done that, she's if you on hadn't her phone gone, with her husband. what would have happened had you not gone in? there which I mean she would have drowned. Well, it looks like it hasn't gotten that much Shh. yeah I, I you know I, I don't know I, I I told her okay undo your seatbelt and she undid her seatbelt oh and I said let me have your phone let me have your bags and then put on my back and then we walked in so she's short she's probably about this tall so I put her on my back and just brought in it was she's fine she was in shock uh, she was cold shivering so I gave her one of my shirts and she was in our car just warming up uh, about 10 minutes later the fire department came saw that we we're okay and they went on to the next rescue wherever they're going Meteorologist but her husband just picked her up responder. about five minutes ago. That's right. You're Bob, amazing. Yeah, there they are. Bob, a, a heroic yeah. act, but you know you're never supposed <laughs> to do any of that stuff. Is your wife watching you right now on TV? Because you, you've got a lot of explaining to do. Uh, you know what? I texted her. I said, let's just keep this under wraps. She doesn't, she doesn't know what happened or anything. <laughs> I'm going to text let's just her right now. Don't tell her. You guys. Allie, no, Janice, come on. You know her. Don't tell her. I'm going to tell her. That's good. It's, let, everyone now knows. When I go